All right, folks, SIG P365. I gave you my first impressions. Now we're going to take your comments and see what you guys have to say about it. And it should be nice. There's hundreds of comments on the video, so I'll read, read through some of them with my morning coffee. Here's a good one. Every time I'm thinking this channel achieved peak troll, Ben goes, hold my blow dryer. Uh, yes, definitely having fun on this channel. There's no doubt about that. All right, Ben's career as a SIG shill is taking off. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ben's ultimate outfit, field craft survival hat. Yep. Pit Vipers. Yep. GBRS instructor shirt. Yep. SIG pistol with Ronin red dot. Yep. Modern samurai holster. Oh. That would be a great outfit. All right. IEDC uh, 365XL with a Wilson Combat Grip module. I got my popcorn ready for the comments. That's the one that dudes are talking about. It's the Wilson Combat XL Grip module, isn't it? And I have a feeling that I'm going to end up monking around with that, with that one. I do have a feeling because guys speak very highly of it. They like it. Okay. It's weird the 365 is way more popular in civilian hands, but you almost never hear about any of the problems the 320 has. Outside of their early product testing with first adopters, light strikes and striker issues, they've been pretty solid from what you hear. No, no holster NDs, no drop NDs, no kabooms that aren't ammo related that I've read. Goes to show what can happen when you build a striker gun as a striker gun instead of cheaply converting a hammer gun over. Well... You may be right. I don't know the reasons why the 320 has so many issues. Um, but I don't hear the same issues with the 365. The people tend to like the 365. All right. Bonus, you can use the slide as a mirror to fix your hair. It is... Uh, this gun, it does look better in person. It looks looks a bit shit on camera, to be honest. But it's, it is better in person. Uh, Ben's po guns are getting smaller, but the pockets are getting fatter. That's a good way to do it, isn't it? Um, my wife, daughter, son-in-law all have the P365. My original broke the striker and they took care of me quick on it. I'm one of those that doesn't like flat triggers, so I went with the Armory Craft semi-curved. No failures in thousands of rounds. Added the whole grip. Love it. When you're shooting it, you don't really feel that mushy stuff you feel in dry fire. I did polish up the trigger stuff slightly as to wait for break-in. Looking forward to you shooting this on camera. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, people like them. The Wilson Combat module gives just enough extra girth to make hand purchase much easier while still being concealable. I had a hard time with the stock module and had similar issues to the ones you mentioned, so the extra circumference may make things a bit more pleasant. Yeah, I have no doubt if this grip module was just a little bit different, it would make all the difference in the world. Weird to see comments saying he's trolling the other half talking about how all points are valid. I know, it is amazing, isn't it? I carry a 365X and shoot amateur IDPA with it. I shoot it pretty well, and I agreed with the praise that it's surprisingly soft shooting. Yeah, I mean, is it snappier than like a Glock 19? Yeah, it's snappier than that. But some of those small guns are like nasty to shoot, and this is not one of them. This one's not nasty. It's okay. The Wilson grip gives it enough, a bit more grip that it handles quite comfortably. Not sure if I'm being trolled, but this is a gun I carry and train with and I like it a lot. Very few complaints. Something I'd like to see more of in IDPA is people shooting the guns they actually carry. I, de I definitely recommend this to a new shooter along with the obligatory Glock 19. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's fair comments. I carry the X macro comp myself. Very easy gun to shoot and 17 round capacity is kind of crazy for the size. Yeah, it is. That's pretty good. Afraid about the finish rusting in certain conditions, mine has not done that after almost two years of carrying it every day down here in Florida, but I always wear an undershirt. Okay. Well, I don't know. There are Damn, there are levels to the troll game. Didn't expect an actual proper candid review from a world-class shooter on the P365. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. But I delivered. And I'm going to keep shooting it. 9mm is very nice. This is the people quoting me when I say 9mm is very nice. Like, there's one thing that would ruin this gun is I buy it in 380. Like, fuck that noise. Like, I have, like, let's just make it 9. It's just, that's better. All right. 
Once I've got regular three, P365, super comfortable for carry. Yeah, of course. Wasn't so comfortable in shooting. No, it's not super comfortable, but it's it's okay. But hey, you need to defend yourself. You can manage in this uncomfortable situation. Yeah, I agree. I sold it because it's way too small for me and wanted to have something in double stack Glock platform, but Glock is thick and not so comfortable in EDC. Dude, see, this is, this is the issue. Like, this is way thinner than like a Glock 19, way thinner. I have several of the 365 and I love them. I wish it had a better trigger. All mine have upgrades and just decent. Not great, but love the gun. I don't know, like to be, I don't know if it, it doesn't, I don't know if I would change the trigger a whole lot to be honest for like a carry pistol, like it doesn't need it. I hate fucking with it if it doesn't need it. Hey Ben, I work at a range and gun store and our 365 is one of our most rented firearms along with the rest of our SIGs and Glocks. I have been very disappointed in the performance of the SIG Striker fired pistols for how often they break. The trigger spring is something that has broken in our P365 three separate times last year and we've had the extractor fly off our 320. Now, I've seen other comments elsewhere of dudes complaining about the trigger springs in these breaking. Um, I think that's probably real. Like, I think it's probably, with how many comments I've seen, the, the volume of it is like, probably those those are our weak point. But, um, you know, we'll see. We'll keep shooting. Uh, one comment, best concealed carry option. Like, yeah, if people are like, hey, this is the jam for concealed carry. This is the one. It's kind of like, okay, well, that doesn't sound crazy to me. That sounds fine. Um, this SIG really brings it out in his eyes. I'm waiting on the P320 10,000 round review. And you will have it, sir. You will have it eventually. Um, okay, that's enough. I, I, like I said, I'm gonna shoot the 320, or I'm gonna shoot the 365 more. We're gonna talk about it more. Um, I'm glad that you guys are appreciating the uh, the comments on it. That's good. Let's get to work.